Yesterday we shot for offensive linemen. And TV monitors. <laughs> and Maz took out the TV monitor behind me if you're watching the simulcast on NBC Sports Boston. You saw it yesterday when he took it out, but it's still, uh, well, it's damaged. You can see it right there. Uh, the, there you go. And wh whatever. He, I mean, it was instant. Oh, he just, he cracked it. He cracked it, but good. The guy's like three feet away. It's right there. Good and, spin rate. And so I was stunned to hear the price on that monitor. I mean, TVs are cheap. TVs are, you know, whatever. You know, I told you, I, I, my initial instinct was that Zoe had done something to it before, and I just exacerbated the problem. But now, frankly, I'm going to blame you. Thousands I, of dollars. Yeah, I, I think you held the board too long. Oh, please. If you go back and look at the tape, it's it's a big board. It's right here, and you airmailed the whole thing. And you took out a monitor in the process. So the lawyers are now hard at work figuring out how we're going to replace that and who's going to pay for it and the insurance settlements and all this. So we've got a, you created a whole situation. Yeah, I can no longer comment on the matter because it's being litigated. So now I'm, I have to go to a different end of the room. I'm going to have to stand up over here on the side of the room away from these monitors so Maz doesn't take out another monitor. <laughs> Why don't they just put you in front of the 98.5 sign? Well, so what, I like doing it here because I like doing it in front of the mic. I, I, yeah. I, I like the sound that the board makes, so I, I want to be on mic. We play those montages, the sound of the, of the you know, when Whatever, the projectile right. hitting the board, right. it's pronounced. That's, it sounds like a crack in the bat. It's an important part of the bit. It's the it's the ball or the marker hitting the board. We have to put something over Fred's board so that that doesn't get damaged. Well, so I'm not. Well, I'm going to be away from Fred's board. I okay. those guys get all mad. At, you know, like I don't I need to do any of that. Yeah. But all because Maz couldn't hit the freaking target. I'm going to break something else today. I know it. Chuck Knobloch over there from I three think feet TV away. Should have spent more money on. Uh, TVs that should accept the velocity of a marker. It's, it was, it's, it's a Nerf ball. Easiest throw in the game. And he takes out a $1,500 monitor. You've got to be kidding me. Anyway, How much? But, uh, right? That's what I said. TVs are cheap. Three, right. 400 bucks. Nope. 1500 1500 Maz owes the company or the lawyers or whatever. Again, it's being litigated. So 1.5 balloons. Holy smokes. Need to get a new dealer. <laughs> right. Before we get to the... Uh, Seriously. We're going to throw for defensive Wolf. tackles. Let's do an email of the day first here. Yeah. If you don't mind. It's the oh, Mumcast email of the day! I can't I lost. Dear Felga, I really hate you. Mass throws like a broad. And I think <laughs> Mass Sorry, is a boo. Better wear a bigger helmet. The Mumcast email can't throw. of the day! He sucks. Send one. A freaking elbow guard on today. Is email all I say. the day is protected by Mimecast. Safeguard your organization against phishing, business email compromise, and risks of ransomware. Visit Mimecast.com with an M as in Mary. Mimecast.com. Uh, frequent caller write uh, emails in Paul and Maine with Felger and Maz and Murray uh, scouting reports. <laughs> now, this is part of the big board bit where we read from the magazine the scouting report, the strengths and weaknesses. So he did that for all of us here on the show. I enjoyed this. Here we go. Felger, strengths. Luxury car-like facilitation, <laughs> shifts seamlessly from topic to topic, yeah. take flexible, uber-prepared, and deftly wields a highlighter. Weaknesses, has a technology savvy of a third-world third world village kid, uh, limited pronunciation skills, questionable mathematical reasoning, Zolak. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Maserati strengths, stubbornly anchored take defender, passionate squeaky voice reveals true dedication to the craft, off the charts, Wonderlick score. Definitely. Keen wit. Agree with both, all, all that. Weaknesses, stubbornly anchored take defender. <laughs> Millennials, short-term memory equivalent to a Commodore 64. True, yes, absolutely. I forget what I said five minutes ago. Big Jim Murray strengths, five-star pipes. Yes. Vocal versatility of a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, and, no, very, very much true. As evidenced by Mickey Green from the Green Street Hooligans. Right? Yes, That's absolutely. right. Why are they going to make the Reds go into this, this Super League that they're making there? <laughs> I hate these Yank owners. Tier one change ranger. Was that a typo? Did we ever figure out what he meant by that? No uh, idea. Uh, oh, yeah. Change ranger. ranger change yeah, ranger. I rage against change. I've oh, talked yeah, about that yeah, before. Yeah, yes. Yeah. No, that's, that's accurate. That's change ranger. Professional doubter. Yep. Weaknesses. Inability to process Brady departure has created a Go Bucks automaton. That's right. Go Bucks, go. Go Bucks, win. Fire the cannons, Murray. Uh, Cam Newton yep. is another weakness. Definitely a weakness. Personal sports apparel wardrobe budget. Yeah, it's been a lot of the same clothes for a long time here. <laughs> it's well, either, the, yeah, it's pretty much, if you've watched the show over the last five, six years I've been on it, you've seen a lot of the same wardrobe. Well, no, but I got all that new Bucks gear. Fire the cannons. Oh, that's right, buddy. Bucks win, Bucks win. A lot of new orange gear for the Bucks.
<laughs> Hope you're watching it all, Marie. That's all I got to say. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, the real Felger Maz Big Board defensive tackles. Get on the board right after this in our long commercial free segment. Woo! <laughs> So we've got two pages full of guys, and we're going to hum the highlighter at it, and we're going to pick another guy today. The key is the velocity. Oop, got it's someone right. on the bottom. It's all right, you got one. I got one. You've got Jake Baquette from Arkansas. Sweet. Picking by position, we picked up a defensive end and linebacker by the name of Jake Beckett. Wouldn't you know I From Arkansas. Beckett? We're calling him the Arkansas a-hole. <laughs> Jake Beckett. Played are- some uh, defensive end and outside linebacker in Arkansas. Oh, so it's a hybrid. That's your guy. Wait. <laughs> With the 90th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Jake Beckett, defensive end, Arkansas. All right, so that was our first correct selection of many over the last decade. This is the 10th annual Felger Maz Big Board. That's going way back again, year one. Beetle, he was part of the program. Jake Beckett, the defensive lineman out of Arkansas, was our first hit. And we play that one because we're doing defensive line today. Yeah, it's a big position. So we've got uh, uh, tackles and ends. We'll do tackles right now. We'll do defensive ends at 535. Uh, position of need. And so here we go. We got the... Uh, going first, Mark. We have two draft magazines. We've got Athlon and Lindy's. We'll do Athlon on the first page. This is a position of need. I, I could see them going D-tackle. Absolutely. Up you high. you got to redeem yourself with this throw, man. Okay, so again, I've had to switch locations here, uh, but we'll do... Uh, one page from Athlon, two from Lindy's, and you, you can get a little closer, Maz. Don't hit me or this board over here. Like, just come on. Go ahead. All right, here we go. All right, go right up it. top. You hit it. 58. Yeah, excellent. All right. Jay Tefeli. Jay Tefel, T-U-F-E-L-E, out of uh, USC. Woo! Jay Tufel. Jay Tufeli. Jay Tufel. Jay Tufel. We'll circle back and give you the, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, that's, is that, <laughs> which one did you hit, Maz? I'm sorry. I hit the photo. Oh, you hit the photo. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I, that, strike that. Strike that. Strike it from strike the Strike it. Strike it. Withdrawn. That is Christian Bearmore from Alabama. Oh. <laughs> Christian Bearmore from Alabama. That's a highly touted guy, right? Yeah, is he good? Okay, well, it's supposed to be. If, he, if, if, if he's got a picture in one of these magazines, that means he's good. On page one of the seven. Okay, exactly. Position. So he's... He was the second guy on the Athlon board at D-Tackle. So that Ooh. is an actual big guy. All right, so let's open to page two here. Saban connection. Okay. On the Lindy's, again, Murray, don't hit me or anything of the equipment. Just <laughs> do your job. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, um, also, ne- also near the photo. Well, that's Barrymore again. So that's Barrymore in the other magazine. You got to hit another one. Yeah, okay. Well, go ahead then. Oh, bottom right. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, that is, that, that is the kid from Ohio State, uh, Tommy. From when? T- <laughs> Tommy Tagaiji. Timmy. Tommy T O G I A I. Anyone want to help me out with that? Tajai. 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 Tommy Tajai, Ohio State. Tommy from Ohio State. Put him on the board. Final throw. Okay, we're almost through this without any damage. All right, here we go. To me or the equipment, stand by. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This time. Go ahead, Mass. Yes. Do it. Ma- this markers have dried out. I know. Well, you know, I'm blaming the morning show. They left the lids off. Go. Oh. It's a good throw. Thank you. That was a good throw. That was my best one of the week. Can you help me? With, can I see where that hit? So, over there. The red bar. He, like, oh, no. I thought it was over here somewhere. Okay. Oh, the red bar. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, so that, that was actually a box on Tufeli, but so let's just go the guy above it. Naquan Jones, Michigan State. Naquan Jones is what you hit. Naquan Jones, Michigan State, put him on the board. Stand by. We're going to give her the bios on this. All so right, that good. I want the bios. Three tackles, three ends. Stand by. Hold on. Yeah, we need new markers. These markers have dried up a little. We need more info. I'm blaming the morning show. I okay. think they took the caps off. Christian Bearmore. Uh, oh, uh, he's from Alabama. He goes 6'5", 310. That's a big fella. 6'5", 310. D-, D tackle now. D-tackle. Okay, well, that's all right. He arrived at Tuscaloosa as an imposing physical specimen, but one who lacked much polish as a football player. Bearmore made strides over his three seasons under Nick Saban, though, suggesting that his best football could be in front of him. Uh, Let's see. He's the prototype as far as physical traits, a broad frame with little in the way of bad weight, plus long arms and powerful hands. 
Six five three ten, good body. You know who that is? That's Seymour. Yeah, that's like right, exactly. That's not one of those fatties. Like that, he's that's good shape. Yeah, that's, that's Seymour. That's so true. Not a lot of bad weight, as they say. Tricky Dick Seymour. Uh, he's an explosive mover, quick off the snap, keeping his pads low, getting into his opponent's chest, and driving blockers into the backfield. Love that. He flashes the ability to shoot through gaps as well, which oh. they don't really ask. But Seymour with the sturdy uh, contact balance. To move through traffic. He's got sturdy contact balance. Well, no, that's key. I'm not sure I've ever heard that term before. <laughs> exactly. This is, this is where it gets silly. Weak points. Again, Raw coming into his college career, and he still has a ways to go after only two years on campus. In the pass rush, his game often doesn't extend beyond pushing the blocker back into the quarterback's lap. Oh, they love that, though. Which will work less frequently against grown men at the professional level. Anyway, uh, uh, Athlon here projects him in the first or second round. So put him on the Felger and Maz big board. That guy's got a chance. Yeah, that sounds like one of their type of guys. Absolutely, especially because they haven't been linked to him really all that much, and he's from Alabama. Okay, again, we're brought to you by the Peterson School. I'll give you more information on those guys here in one second. Tommy Tajai? Tagai? I don't know how though yeah, you're supposed yeah, to say. Yeah. Tommy from Lynn. Okay. <laughs> Tommy from Ohio State. <laughs> Uh, th- six three three hundred Maz. Okay, little a uh, little lighter than I like. Undersized, built like a fire hydrant. Oh, good, yeah, short and fat, and just as tough to move, offering immediate help as a traditional run plugger. Yeah, that guy's like your classic nose tackle. They man. really need that. I mean, that is. Tr- I mean, I know they signed it in free agency, but they that's still a need. Got to be bigger than three balloons, though. Classic, uh, built like a fire hydrant. Yeah, guy. put well, forty exactly on, and we'll talk. Like said, he anchors well, leaning into the defenders and. Sprawling his thick but short legs. <laughs> They're little sausages. <laughs> That's quite the picture, wouldn't you say? There. Uh, oh, it's good. He's, oh, he's okay. kind of like Sosi. He leans, leans into defenders and sprawling his thick but short legs, using his natural leverage advantage. Say to, anything about his legs being hairy? To great effect, of course. What will generate the most buzz is Tagai's strength, which is obvious with his ability to bench press opponents, easily shucking them aside. Yeah, like oysters. <laughs> so once he locates the ball. Besides his girth and strength, Maz. Yeah, he's a longshoreman. Flashes an explosive initial burst off the snap, which can help him blow up plays with early penetration. Love it. Okay. What round's he projected? Okay, your third, fourth round. Can I give you his weaknesses? Oh, okay, boy. here we go. Yeah, short, fat legs. Well, they use, a, 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 they use an adjective here. I don't think you want to attach to you ever. Like most stumpy <laughs> defenders. <laughs> hate being called stumpy. That's always a... Like most stumpy defenders with his frame and strength, (laughs) he's pretty stiff in his midsection. I bet. Struggling to quickly change direction. Quite quite raw from a fundamental standpoint, standing up too often and exposing his chest. Well, yeah, because that's how we walk. That's how guys that size walk, like, right? They get- show us your. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's how, how he gets beads in that's muddy how grass. Stumpy guys, stumpy guys walk like that. That's that little waddle they got. <laughs> This guy's constantly <laughs> exposing his chest. <laughs> He's getting lured upfield on traps and struggling to twist away efficiently to get back into the play when initially blocked. <laughs> I'm telling you. Stumpy 6 no, three, three, three Bills. A little stumpy flasher here they're going to draft. He's listening to 6 three, three Bills, and I think he's going to put on 30. Na- like, holy crap. Finally, Naquan Jones, Michigan State, 6'3", 340. Ooh, now, now we're talking. Fifth round pick projected uh, strengths. Uh, broad man with ideal <laughs> He's a broad man. <laughs> with ideal size for working as interior lineman. Looks the part of a traditional nose tackle. Good motor and effort with both his hands and legs. Hand usage isn't polished, Maz, but is active with swats and swims and attempts to create openings. Yeah, he's good with hornets and bees. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Weaknesses. Decent natural leverage works in his favor, but has a habit of rising out of his stance as play drags on. Yeah, he plays straight up. Was too easily turned out of lanes by down blockers and inconsistent results as a run defender make his projection difficult. Length is average, and will have a difficult time shedding blocks against long opponents. Oh, this guy's right up the rally, though, because he'll be around in the mid to late rounds. Okay, he is projected, as I said, in the fifth round. So, Naquan Jones, Michigan State, put him on the board. Oh, I like that one. We get a chance with him. 
Okay, uh, that we'll do D ends at five thirty-five. So yeah. join us for uh, the completion of the defensive line uh, portion of the Felger and Maz Big Board. Maz, give me one second. Say something. Yeah, no, no problem. Again, all these guys, they they love these fat guys, Murray, on the inside of the line like that. They do. They love these absolute freaking whales that they can just stick in there to stop the run, so Bill doesn't have to worry about it. Felger and Maz's draft board and exclusive draft coverage is brought to you by the Peterson School, drafting the hardest working people in the trades in Woburn, Westwood, and now Worcester. Classes enrolling now at petersonschool.com. What's so I'm, funny? I've, I've already taken a liking to Stumpy McGee. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy I want, I want Stumpy. All right, uh, coming up next, we have more on the Patriots draft. I have a thought about the Patriots trading up, uh, sort of a developing kind of a medio mediocre opinion. But we do have some fresh information on the Palace Q and the breakup of Brady, Belichick, and Kraft and what was going down at that time. And Bill, Bill, maybe... You know, maybe let's just tease it like this. Maybe Tom Brady wasn't the only one looking to be released from Ooh. Foxborough. So we'll have that coming up after Murray's 90-second update. No commercials. From the Town Fair Tire Studios, Boston's home for sports is WBZFM and HD Boston. 98.5, the sports hub. The Beasley Media Group Station.